Okay, so today we're going to demonstrate a simple ponytail. Um, as you can see, Gabby's hair is also still wet. I'm going to use the dry oil spray that I was saying prior. That makes the hair just glide and detangle as quickly as possible. And really, it's just such a great product. I use it every day pretty much with them. So I usually use a comb to try to detangle the hair. Um, and I usually start from the top to try to glide it back and get it into a ponytail. And as you can see, Gabby has very, very long hair. Some girls might have shorter hair, but either way, it's a great product to assist with detangling the hair and getting it ready. And again, you can use, I like, I prefer using a comb because I think it leaves the hair nicely set. But I know some moms like using a, a brush. If I use a brush, I usually try to use the brush that has the, the plastic hair needles because I find that it's easier to detangle and it's less painful on the girls, particularly if they have a lot of a lot of hair, maybe curly hair, it's easier to, to glide down. Okay, so once the hair is pretty much detangled, I usually again go from the bottom and even spray some of those little baby hairs. As you can see, most of the girls have a little baby hair growing and we'll need to get that into the bun as well. So I start out with the oil, try to get all of it, like Addy has pretty much sort of not curly and not straight, so, but she has a lot of volume to her hair. So as you can see, as it dries up, it starts to curl up a little bit. So I try to get all those little baby hairs back. And then we're just going to take a little bit of the gel. Again, a little bit goes a long way and start gliding back a little bit to try to get all those little baby hairs in and set them into place. So I'm going to grab on the bottom as well. She has thin hair with a lot of hair. And I'm just going to zoom it back a little bit. And for usually for um, hip hop, the jazz classes, um, not necessarily the ballet, but some of the other more modern type of classes or music, the girls will traditionally use a ponytail as opposed to the little ballet bun. So you want to grab as much hair as possible and just keep gliding it back, gliding it back. Here we go. And I just try usually pulling it up and try to make a high ponytail because I think it looks a lot prettier than a low ponytail in the back. And usually for a recital, they might have another type of bun or design, but okay, so once we have all those little baby hairs all slipped back, we're gonna take one of these and the thicker the band, the better. I find usually they sell those uh, goodie bands that are thin um, for dance and recital, those just don't work. So you want to find a thicker one. Um, I usually find that at the dance stores, they usually have the thicker ones and the variety of colors. I try to also stick to a darker color so that it matches the girl's hair. Again, if your hair, girl has lighter hair, then you can get away with maybe a brown one or a lighter color one so that it's seamless shows. And then once the ponytail is in place, I'm going to glide the hair back, keep combing it back until all of those knots are out. And I'm going to continue to set the front. Again, Gabby has bangs so it's a little harder. Some girls have just straight long hair or just long curly hair. It's easier to pull it back into the and you would never be able to tell that she has bangs because with the gel, it just pulls all of the hair back and it's nicely set. And this is the regular ponytail. 